Okay, let's make a water. I'm gonna use this mermaid syrup from Skinny Syrups. And then one packet of this Tropical Punch Liquid IV. So, um, I'm warming up some water in my sink because, yeah, that should be warm enough. I find that the packets would um, dissolve better in hot water. Sorry, I can't think straight. Um, let me just mix this into this. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna pour this on top of my ice water here. And then we're gonna do like two tablespoons of this. All right, then I'm just gonna stir this up and this is my water. All right, let's do a grocery haul. Here we go. Hair's still crazy. All right, got these creamer pod things to take to work. I get those so I don't have a bottle of creamer in the fridge because people steal it. Frozen peas. I got these for football on Saturday, um, Sunday. They're soft pretzel bites. Two things of ground beef. I got five of these little pizzas that Cody really likes. Got some eggs. Then I got two coffee creamers for home. I wanted to try the Coffee Mate brown butter chocolate chip cookie. I think I've had this and it's really good. And I do remember having this last year and I really liked it. This is the Dunkin Pumpkin Munchkin Creamer. It's very different than just the pumpkin spice creamer. I don't love pumpkin spice, but this I do like, so. Two Tony's pizzas for Cody. A gallon of white vinegar. I use this for a lot of different things. Doritos. I wanted to try the Tropical Skittles like water flavor packets. They had to substitute name brand rigatoni, but that's okay. Um, so I got two boxes of rigatoni. Um, I want to make some with Alfredo, and I know Cody likes rigatoni with meat sauce. I got these Starburst um, blue raspberry flavor packets. This one is really good. And then I got an Alfredo sauce mix. I prefer to get the mix versus the jarred Alfredo sauce. I think it tastes better. Package of wings to make on Sunday. He sent me whole wings, not the like chicken wings. Oh well, we'll still eat them, right? Yeah. Cat block of cabbage, cheddar cheese to snack on. And a celery for snacking. Sesame seed um, hamburger buns for our dinner tonight. A big jar of Jif peanut butter. A box of hamburger helper. We like the cheesy Italian shells. And then we're out of barbecue sauce, so I wanted to grab some. And I decided to just try the Great Value Honey Barbecue. And just for some, oh, they sent me the wrong thing. That's okay. Um, for some um, non-food items, I think I have eczema, so I wanted to pick up a couple things to help soothe it. So there's this Dove Eczema Prone Skin Care Body Wash. And then I thought I was getting an eczema body cream, but they sent me a hand cream. I think I could still use it in the spots where I itch, but I'm going to see if I can get a refund for this. And then I got Billy Razor refills because I need them so I can shave my legs. That's everything we got. Um, some of the things I ordered they didn't have. Like I wanted to get damp red and Cody won bagels, but they outed me though. So I think the total ended up being like 130 for everything, which isn't horrible for what we got. So I'm going to put this together, put this away, and then I'm trying to finish dinner. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, September 27th. It's 7.38 in the morning. And I figured I'm going to take you along today with me because today is actually Cody's birthday. So Cody turned 35 today and he is actually still sleeping. But I decided that, you know, I should probably go get him some Dunkin' because he doesn't have coffee in the house and he just really likes Dunkin'. Sorry if you can hear my um, heater. My windows are all fogged up, so I gotta turn the heater on. Um, he loves Dunkin', so I'm gonna go run a couple errands this morning at 7.30, like I said. And, um...
Anyway, 7.30, like I said. Sometimes my car will beep like I'm going to hit something, but then I don't hit anything. It's very weird. Anyways, it's 7.30. Hannaford just opened up like 40 minutes ago. So I figured while I have the gumption and the energy, like instead of putting it off, I'm just going to go do it because like, so I, because this is when like the grocery stores are going to be the least busy. So we're going to do that. I'm going to run to Hannaford to get a couple things. I have a couple of coupons on my app to get some free stuff. Cody works at Hannaford. So like he has, so like Hannaford, you don't necessarily get like a discount. Um, but Hannaford has my Hannaford rewards and it's just like on your app and you earn points for every Hannaford brand that you buy. And then what else? Um, for every Hannaford brand or like one of their brands that you buy, usually you would get 2% cash back onto your app. And then every three months, the like money that you earned like becomes available and then you just like hit like activate and then you can use that again for other purchases at Hannaford. Well, because Cody is an employee, we now get 10% cash back, I believe. It was six. I think they moved it to 10. So it's actually really cool because where Cody buys food at Hannaford for like his lunches a lot, like every three months, like when I obviously didn't have a husband working for them or whatever, didn't have a hire, whatever, and I didn't really like buy a whole lot from Hannaford. You know, every three months I'd maybe have like $3, but with Cody, like we end up getting like 20 to $30 back every three months. And it's cool because then I can activate it every three months and then he can use that to buy his lunches and then it just, you know, gift that keeps on giving, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, so I am going to head there. The funny thing is, so I live in a city, but I live in a city where like, I feel like if you were to come to my city, it wouldn't be as big or crazy as other cities, but nonetheless, I live in a city and so... There are like multiple Hannafords. There's like one on every corner. And I, if I am going without my husband and my husband's not working, I like to go to one that he doesn't work at. I don't know why. Like today I'm going to a different one. I don't know, maybe change the scenery. Maybe because like, I think people at Hannaford knows I'm his wife now. Like I don't go in often when he's working, but I've gone enough that I think people would know who I am. And I don't know, I just like to go to a different one. And also because this one I'm going to is also close to Target, which I also need to go to. And then Duncan is like right on the same street as Target here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run to Hannaford, run to Target really quick because I have some coupons there I want to try to use. And then get him, Duncan, and head back. And then that way Cody can just wake up, have the TV. Um, I don't know what we're doing today. It's all going to be what he wants to do. I'm not really sure what he wants to do. He might just want to sit around, play video games, and then go out to eat. I have looked at movie times. If he wants to go see a movie, I know he's been really wanting to watch the Ninja Turtles movie, and I think that's still at one of the movie theaters. However, it's like about to become, you put on like Paramount Plus or Netflix or something, so like maybe it's not worth paying all the money you would go to a movie. Um, I don't know. So we had his birthday party last weekend this past weekend uh we had it friday night and we had an actually we had it at an arcade and it had like a bar and stuff so it was really cool um so i rented a table we ordered tons of pizza and cody got like so like to like book a table there you reserve it and you have to pay a deposit for like two hundred dollars but then when you get there you get it back on a play card for the game. So Cody still has like 60 something dollars. So like maybe he'll want to go back to sports arena. I don't know. I'll do a little shop around with me as assuming there's not a lot of customers and show you like what free things that they're going to let me get. Okay. So these are the things I plan on buying. Um, I've been obsessed with like the Tiffany plate on TikTok where it has the chicken sausage 
and like fresh vegetables to snack on. I don't do cottage cheese and mustard. I don't like it, but I do make homemade honey mustard. But these were like on sale-ish. So I'm gonna grab one of those because we've been eating ranch in the house. And I say we, but Cody doesn't like ranch. So I don't know why I said that. I needed more ranch in the house. Next thing is going to be a bakery item valued at $3, which is going to take some searching because there's really not much. All right, I picked out this um, jumbo chocolate cupcake with chocolate frosting, which is like his favorite combo, chocolate and chocolate. So that way, if we don't get dessert tonight with dinner, he at least has a cupcake he can have tonight. And the last free thing is a Hershey bar. Okay, so here's my total. And I'm gonna put in my phone number. And that's what I'm gonna pay now. Okay, can you guys believe the like savings I just had? I feel like I got that for almost like 50% off, like all that stuff. So that's really cool. So just to recap, I got the free marinated chicken, so that took off $9. Then I got um, the free Hershey bar, the free cupcake, and then the free cold brew, and hopefully that's good. If not, like I said, at least it was free, and if it's like really not like digestible, I guess I should say, edible, I don't know then it won't bother me as much to like throw it out. You know what I mean? Okay, so now we are going to head to Target really quickly. Um, we're not looking at anything but household stuff because I have some Target like coupons on my Target Circle app to get some, like a bunch of money off. So I wanna go see, plus I think from now until the 30th, I'd have to go see, um, from now until the 30th, if you buy like three household items, you get a $10 gift card. So if that's still happening, then I definitely want to buy something. If not, I probably won't buy anything. Um, I also want to see, so I've been having some eczema on my side for the most part. Um, sometimes I get in my legs. And it's been really bothersome. I have no idea how to fix it. I feel like I I got like eczema body wash, like prone body wash, eczema lotions. I got dry skin lotions. I got Benadryl cream. I don't know what it's from. A lot of people say it could be like I'm allergic to something, but I don't know what it could be. Like I don't, I haven't tried anything new. I haven't, we haven't used like a different detergent. Like we've used the same products. I know you can develop allergies all the time, so I don't know. Um, and also the problem is, this is gonna sound crazy, but since I'm frugal, like we already spent the money on all of our stuff. So like, yeah, I could probably switch to like dye-free, scent-free products, like for laundry and stuff, but we already have the stuff when we bought money. So I'm like, I'd rather itch a little until we use it up and then buy new versus buying new now. I know that's crazy, but whatever. So, yeah, so I just want to go in and see. If you are, like, big on, like, wanting to save, go to, um, you know what? I'm going to have to leave her name down below. I think it's, like, Torok Coupon Hunter or something. And she is so good at being, like, you need to go to Target right now and get these and clip these coupons and you will save, like, so much money. You know what I mean? So, um... Yeah, so that's cool. And then, what was the other thing? Oh, and, like, she does a lot, like, on Dollar General, where you could, like, get a whole bunch of stuff and only pay, like, five bucks. Like, that kind of stuff. But really into watching her. So, she's the one inspiring me to run to Target. So, I'm going to run to Target, look at the home stuff. I was thinking about getting gas, but I still have quite a bit. And I want to wait as long as possible because next week... I'm going to Salem with my sister. I'm hoping to vlog a little bit of that, but um, I might just like decide not to live in the moment with my sister and just, you know, have a fun girls trip, but we'll see. I might, I might, I might not. Um, so anyway, so I want to like save as much 
like wait and do like a full tank next week. So that way, like, I don't necessarily have to get gas for the way down, but maybe the way back. You know what I mean? So anyways, I'm at Target. I'm going to run in and we'll see what we can get. You guys, I was going to be nice and go get my husband a shirt from the graphic section. You know how they have like the graphic tees, video games, Disney, you know, whatever. Wow. Now, mind you, they just opened at eight. Literally, I'm gonna put up a picture right here of what it looked like. Horrible. Like, why, why? So, he already had got his gifts, so it's not a big deal, but I just thought if I saw a t-shirt he'd like, I'd be nice and get it for him since it's his birthday. Okay, so if you buy three or more, you get a free $10 gift card. Now, for toilet paper, which is what I need, only Charmin and Cottonelle are part of the deal. Now, I probably will save money just buying generic anyway, so I think that's what I'll do. Because honestly, like, I could probably buy three things somewhere else. Okay, you guys, I feel so dumb. Okay, so the couponing thing for Target... I did get the $5 off 30. I did qualify for the $10 gift card. But for some reason when I scanned it, it still charged me $10. And I think that's because when it had popped up, it told me to grab one and I just like hit like something to make the message go away. And I think I was supposed to keep it up. And so then it wouldn't let me discount the one I had scanned. I couldn't figure out how to remove the gift card from my cart. So then I'm like, uh, so I still got a free $10 one, but then I ended up buying a $10 gift card. So whatever. I mean, I'll probably go back someday and we'll spend more than 20 bucks at Target. So I'll use those two $10 gift cards there. But it was just dumb. Like I just spent like $10 unnecessary amount. And then, so then like the three, buy three, get a gift card is all well and good, but you have to buy certain brands like me i am not above buying like the up and up brand from target and i probably would have saved money doing that versus buying all that stuff just to get a ten dollar gift card i was going to just do that and then just get the five dollars off 30 but then it ended up being the things i bought because i ended up needing dryer sheets so i put in a thing of dryer sheets i had those unstoppables and then i was like you know what we need paper towels i might as well just like throw the like bounty or whatever brand that said to buy to qualify for the gift card just so that way I can do it because otherwise like it, I was so close and it would have been just foolish so whatever it is what it is I got it all done but yeah basically just um I'm just like an idiot so I'm at Duncan. I placed my order on the app, so I'm gonna run in and grab it. And we're gonna head home. I'm gonna try to call Cody because see if he can help me bring in some of this stuff. I don't really care if like paper towels and stuff go in right now, but like I have produce and stuff. So let me go get my coffee. All right, whole time. So for from Duncan, I decided to try a frozen coffee with I've been really into the frozen coffees lately. Usually I get butter pecan, but today I tried to I decided to try medium frozen coffee with two pumps of mocha and two pumps of hazelnut. Good. I was hoping it would like taste like Nutella. I think if I had gotten like one pump hazelnut, two pumps mocha, it would have been perfect. And then Cody always gets a medium iced coffee with liquid sugar and mocha swirl and cream. And then I got Cody a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. And then I got us each a donut. Okay, so Hannaford, I showed you guys. I got this free cupcake for Cody because it's his birthday. And I've been really into snacking on fresh vegetables, so I got some bell pepper some cucumbers. I thought these cherry tomatoes on the vine were cute, so I got those. Got some baby carrots. And I've been liking just making homemade honey mustard. Oh, I should have bought honey. That's right. But um, I decided to get this just so I can, because I've been needing ranch anyways. And this is like, like healthier, I think. So I decided to get that. A tote of apples, Macintosh. Can't wait to bake with those and eat them and that stuff. Got a free Hershey bar. 
we've got a free marinated chicken breast so i chose the nashville hot one and then we're gonna give this another try this is the nature's promise cold brew i decided to try mocha see if that tastes better i've had the original and it's not good like at all so we're gonna try that and then from target um for the buy three get a ten dollar coupon which ended up being dumb um got bounce dryer sheets some bounty paper towels but they're still in the car and then some downy unstoppables then i had a coupon to get this febreze small space for cheap i got this apple cider mrs meyer spray got some toilet paper and then this is from my sister and i's road trip next week i got us each this witch's brew alani new energy drink so i'm gonna bring these with me um when we go so that's all i got from my little excursion today now i'm gonna eat my donut because i'm actually really hungry anyone else when you get really hungry get nauseous or is it just me um so i'm gonna put this all away eat my donut and then see what Cody wants to do today for his birthday. All right, having my lunch now. I just folded laundry. Took a while, but um, I'm having my like Tiffany plates called. So I have chicken, apple, sausage, tons of fresh vegetables, um, some cheese, and this is homemade honey mustard. If you want to see how I make that, let me know. I'll try to film it in a future vlog. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go eat this and probably like watch something on my iPad at the table. All right, so we are out on the town. It's so crazy, it's only 7.15, but it's like dark out. So I'm like thinking I'm like so cool being out. But in reality, we're just out at seven. So I went into Bath and Body Works, bought two hand soaps for, well, I say fall scents, but they're pretty much like winter scents too. And then Cody's getting a game at GameStop. And then we're going to head to PetSmart because Miles has like these black spots on his chin. He gets them like every summer. I have no idea what they are. It like kind of looks like dried blood. So maybe it's from him and Gus fighting. I'm not sure, but they pop up and then eventually they go away on their own. But... Yeah, we're gonna go find some like wipes to wipe it down with, but here comes Cody, so we're gonna go to PetSmart.